Hello, this is Naomi. I'm here at Grace Meadows Farm where we are building a farm from scratch in southwestern Ontario. Um, I'd like to welcome you to the farm and we got something new. We've got a tripod so I thought I'd try something new today. I will take you with me for my morning chores and you'll see what I go through in the mornings and, and how we kind of move around the farm and get stuff done. Um, okay, Mabel needs food. We've got cats running around. Mabel, oh, she's doing her business. But Mabel and the cats are the only ones out just yet. So we're going to get the food here. But uh, if you want to help us and support us in any way, please subscribe to our channel and uh, hit like and the thumbs up and that will help us. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm trying to unzip my shelter. Here we go. Here we've got our hay, our straw, and the things we need. We get the cats sleep in here and they eat in here. Where's Mittens? Is she out working? All right, let's see if I can set this up without the cats knocking it over. This winter is they're getting half waterfowl pellets. I know you're getting a view of the back side of me, not the best, but this is our morning chores. This is what we go through. Oh, we gotta bring the new bag of cat food in. There we go, I scraped it up. I had a better setup for keeping my feed and stuff, but this is what I got. We got the metal cans to keep the rodents out. Now let's see if I can hold all this and you guys at the same time. That should work. Okay, come with me. Back out into the light. Oh, chickens! Grandpa let you out. Usually they stay in so they can eat their food. But I guess they escaped past him this morning. But they know I've got the food. Look at them coming. Get your food. Come on. Can you go 
This may look strange closing them in, but this is to make sure that the goats don't get their food when we let them out. So the chickens get to stay in there and eat uninterrupted and undisturbed. Now for the fun part, the releasing of the ducks. I don't know about everybody else, but I love this every day, the routine of it, um, being out in nature, seeing the weather every day. I find it very soothing and peaceful, and I love it. I just do. I wouldn't have it any other way. Let's see if I can get you guys a good spot. Probably good. come out sorry sorry for any wind noises I don't have anything to uh, dampen the wind but they do this every morning set up a commotion when they come out get very excited they're looking for water now and my dad or grandpa Grace Meadows there is bringing it and we'll dump it in I'll set you back down so you can watch while we do that. No 
most of my fun in the morning is just sitting and watching the, the birds. They seem to be the most entertaining. Now you saw me probably peek in there after I let them out. I was just checking for eggs. Breeding season is coming. Eggs will be starting soon. So I check every day. I also check how their bedding is if they need new, but I just bedded them up yesterday, as you can see, so they're fine. Now, I don't know how much anyone's keeping track of the news here, but all I keep hearing about is how two days ago, Ontario got absolutely swamped with snow. Now I keep hearing about that, but I keep looking around and I'm not seeing it. We happen to be in the Banana Belt in southwestern Ontario, and this is pretty much how we look all winter long. We don't typically get much here. So even though the rest of the province is um, locked under heaps of snow, this is what we're dealing with here. Which, you know what? I don't mind. It's a fairly mild day. It's only about minus two. We got a little bit of sun shining through, sun and clouds. But uh, it's quite nice today. It's a good day to be out on the farm. But I need to get to my next chore. His dad's over there at the well filling up those buckets again. There's the kitty cats. Mabel. Alright birds, you be good and eat your food. You gotta eat your food before I can let the goats out. Collect my bucket. And over to the goat water, because they need fresh water too. Now the trick is, if we can get the water out and keep the goats in. See, I've got some hay bales around the chicken coop for some extra insulation and warmth for them. Not that it, they need it on days like today, but when it gets really cold, it can come in handy. And it's just nice for them to have. Oh, the sun's coming out nice now. Come on, there we go. Hello, goats. Hello, goats. Oh, you guys need some hay? Yeah, what is this? What is this I'm holding? You guys can't come out yet. The kitty cat can go in, but you can't come out. I love your blue eyes, Fluffy. Look at you guys all looking at me. Millie, you look like you expect something. Well, back up, guys. You know the deal. You know the deal. So I've got my three water buckets here. They're all at different heights for different height goats. Place them by the door. These two are easy. The last one, not so much. Oh, and they poked in it. This height of one is more for um, like kids when they come, which they will come, but we really need to get the better hook on this. And goats aren't gonna drink that. That's, that's poop tea. Nobody wants poop tea. I have a latch on the inside. I found that's very important because I do my milking in here. There's my fold away milking stand. All right, guys. You get to stay in there while your buckets come out. There. I'll get you clean water, don't worry. Hi, Winnie. You gonna say hi? Yeah. All right, we'll see you guys again later. Behave fluffy.
no, you don't want to drink from that one. At this point, the cats often get a drink from the goat buckets. Which I'm fine, and I was right. Dad's coming with the water. I'm gonna set you guys up somewhere here. Can you see? I tried looking at the back of the phone, but it wasn't showing me because of the light. Water does look a little bit brown there. It's because we have to turn the pump off between filling up buckets, which kind of disturbs the sediment at the bottom of the well. In case you're wondering, that's why. But it is still drinkable water. Yeah, there's a good bit of iron in there. like the ducks have had a bath and a drink. They usually get very excited at that point. But do you see this guys? It is beautiful out. Look at the sun coming through. It's a gorgeous day. Oh yeah, I didn't see that. Where's my finger? There's a bunny right there. I have a lot of bunnies come on the field for the hay. Um, we didn't take the last cut of the year off, so we banked a good bit of hay. The goats are out here grazing all day long, which I love this weather because they're able to do that. Cats are getting a drink. And the extra bits of water, there's always a little bit extra, goes back over to the ducks because they like to splash and it's always good to have a little top up. Here comes my shoulder cat. Nothing she likes better than jumping on my shoulder. She climbs up my clothes and just heads right on up. There we go. Yes, I'm wearing sunglasses. You can't see my eyes. There's a few reasons for that. My eyes are very sensitive to the light is one of them. So you'll almost always see me in sunglasses. The second one is right now, um, I'm under doctor's orders to wear glasses. I had an eye injury in the fall. My six-year-old jabbed his finger in my eye and cut it. 
Um, it didn't block my vision or hinder my vision at all. It was below my field of vision, but it still needs some special care. The specialist has said that I need to protect my eyes from winds and breezes and dry air um, until spring when furnaces turn off. So, yeah. But like I said, even without that, you would probably still see me in sunglasses. Although on cloudier days, they do come off. But I think this might be where I end the video. It's already a pretty good length. And what we do now, chore-wise, is there's some more waiting. So my dad takes Mabel for walks around the perimeter of the property. I hang out and watch the ducks and geese and wait for them to finish eating. When they're done eating, we let the goats out. Once the goats head out to pasture, we let the chickens out. So I might end this here. Actually, come to think of it, I'm going to try something on my phone that I haven't tried before. There's a pause button here. I might pause it until other things happen. If that doesn't work out and it doesn't end up on this video, you'll know why. I haven't tried it before. So I'll pause it now and uh, we'll see if more comes up. Let me just show you. getting Mabel out for a walk. Alright, let's pause this and see how it works.